broadcast portions of that interview later in the week. An extended version will be broadcast as uh, Mr. Cosby, Dr. Cosby, returns to work today. 751 here at CD 101.9. As you return to work, it's 23 degrees, heading for 30. It's going to be a mess later on for the afternoon drive. Check out Ray White for a smooth ride home on CD 101.9. Here's Alfonso Blackwell with Hermina. As CD 101.9, New York's own Alfonso Blackwell. It is 755. And CD 101.9 Traffic and Transit brought to you by your New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut Volvo retailers. Southbound Route 287, stop and go for a mile approaching North Maple Avenue because of a two-car collision, leaving only the left lane open. Southbound Deegan jammed into the Triborough because of a two-car smash-up blocking the left lane. Queensbound Throgs Neck Bridge, a mess this morning, 30-minute delays because of an accident at the toll plaza. As a result, three of the toll lanes are blocked. Head for the Whitestone if you can. Alternate side of the street parking regulations are in effect today citywide. Coming up next hour, we have those front row seats for Kenny G and Tony Braxton at Radio City Music Hall Wednesday night. Also, we'll take a look at the Super Bowl halftime show and some of those great commercials. Better than the game very often. <laughs> That's coming up next hour right here on CD 101.9. Here's one of our favorites from Jonathan Butler, Sarah Sarah on CD 101.9, the smoothest place on earth. It's 7.56. CD 101.9, Jonathan Butler on your Monday morning. It is 7.59. Watch your time. Let's get rolling. And it's time to check in with Russ Meyer. Let's find out if anybody's rolling this morning. Well, you're certainly not rolling if you're on 287 around Bernard's Township. If you're heading southbound, that's where traffic comes to a stop for about uh, six miles and to North Maple Avenue. We've got a two-car accident. Still leaves just a left lane open and all morning long. There have been a lot of activity. Police, fire, EMS crews are all out there. Northbound, everyone's slowing down to take a look at it as well. And we've got a backup working on the Garden State Parkway now. The northbound lanes are stop and go for about eight miles. This is the Union Tolls into the area just south of the Essex Tolls. A side of an accident off on the shoulder. Again, uh, police are on the scene of that one. Also, a big delay on the New Jersey Turnpike Eastern Spur. And towards the Vince Labarti service area, there's a flipped over car being cleared from a ditch. And uh, police are on the scene as well. Some folks are slowing down to take a look. The weights are building quickly at the GWB. 35 minutes for both decks. 30 plus at the Lincoln. 25 over at the Holland. And our other uh, trouble spot this morning has been the Throgsnake Bridge. A two tractor trailer accident and fuel spill. Queensbound means about a 40 minute backup. Unless you've got easy pass, go for the Whitestone, which is at about 15 or 20. Trouble also looking okay from all approaches. New York City's got alternate side rules in effect for today. And the mass transit looking pretty good for you so far this morning. I'm Russ Meyer on CD 101.9. Thank you, Russ. I'm Jim Kerr along with Pat Prescott. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock. CD 101.9 is WQCD New York. CD 101.9 temperature, 22 degrees. A high today around 30. A winter storm watch in effect for inland areas. It's time for the CD 101.9 8 o'clock news break. We are in for some snow this afternoon. Not enough to leave us shoveling, but enough to make a mess of the roads this afternoon. We recommend that you take mass transit if you can. The white stuff is expected to start falling in time for the evening rush hour. Bronx Borough President Fernando Ferrer today is expected to throw his hat into the ring for the mayoral race. Joining City Councilman Sal Albanese and Reverend Al Sharpton as the only Democratic candidates to announce a run. There's some feuding going on behind the scenes of the Broadway hit Victor Victoria. According to The Post, actor Tony Roberts has agreed to return to the show after repeatedly calling out sick with the flu. The Post says that the real reason he didn't show up was because he didn't like working with Liza Minnelli. A General Motors strike in Ohio won't shut down the GM plant in Linden, New Jersey. Instead, it could mean an increase in production. Some 4,300 electrical workers walked off the job yesterday at the Ohio truck plant. Los Angeles police say they have some good leads into the Ennis Cosby murder case, but they'd be closer if witnesses weren't afraid of publicity. The only son of actor Bill Cosby was shot to death January 16th while changing a flat tire. Meanwhile, Cosby has granted his first interview since the murder. He tells CBS the tragedy won't change who he is, and he says his wife can't believe that the killer is still out there. And finally, just when you thought the Tickle Me Elmo craze was over, is a new reason to fly to the stores. Tickle Me Big Bird is out, and retailers say they can't keep it on the shelves. In sports, the Packers beat the Patriots 35-21 to in Super Bowl 31. The Knicks beat Miami 95-89 to at the Garden. 
And tonight on the ice, the Rangers host Chicago. The Knicks, Nets, Islanders, and Devils are all off. Everybody knows after-school programs help city kids to learn and grow, but there just aren't enough of these programs in city neighborhoods. Join with the Urban League to expand after-school programs. To find out more, call 888-326-YOUTH. This CD 101.9 news break is brought to you by Bell Atlantic 9X Mobile. It's 8.03. More smooth jazz and the weather next. You can't use a cell phone to whisper. Good night, sweetie. Daddy loves you. Night-night, Dad. You can't use a cell phone to say... I'm just a mile away. Why don't I swing by and I'll show you the contract? There is no... Mike, we've got a big problem. Davidson looked at the estimate. There is no... Good news, you can turn around. The meeting's canceled. And the cell phone will never let you tell anyone. Now I'm completely lost. I can't find Norwood at all. Unless... Hello? The call goes through. To talk, send, or receive information, make sure your cell phone is on the Bell Atlantic 9X mobile system. It has the coverage you need, a network of communication stores, and Bell Atlantic 9X mobile's advanced digital technology. Because the most important thing is that the call goes through. Where the meeting's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, the uh, address is right here. It's fine. A cell phone is only as good as the network it's on. Choose Bell Atlantic 9X Mobile. Call 1-800-255-BELL. New York's a fast town. Things are changing every day, every minute. The workplace, too, is changing. It's more competitive, and new technology requires new and better skills. So what can you do to keep up? Call New York University's School of Continuing Education. Whether you're just beginning a career or advanced in one, NYU will get you moving with up-to-date skills and disciplines. We offer more than 2,000 courses and professional programs in today's emerging careers. You can pursue a certificate, diploma, undergraduate, or master's degree. New York's a fast town, but with the help of NYU's School of Continuing Education, you'll do more than just keep up. You'll keep ahead. For a spring bulletin, call 1-800-FIND-NYU, extension 4. Keep your career moving this spring at New York University School of Continuing Education. There is still time to register. Go down to Shimkin Hall at 50 West 4th Street after 12 noon to register. Classes begin February 5th, so go to 50 West 4th Street and register today. CD 101.9 time is 8.05, five minutes after 8 o'clock and... Checking out weather for today, there's a winter storm watch in effect for the inland areas. What's going to happen is a little bit of sunshine this morning, then the clouds will come in and light snow will start late in the day. Should pretty much mess up the afternoon rush, but accumulation shouldn't be too bad. Snow this evening, changing the sleet and then the rain in the city with a high of about 30 degrees today and temperatures rising into the 30s overnight. We'll get up to around 40 tomorrow with rain and mixed precipitation in the forecast for Tuesday. Right now, it is 8.05. Good morning. This is the CD Morning Show. And we have front row seats for you, hopefully, for Kenny G and Tony Braxton coming up this hour right here on CD 101.9. Smooth jazz from Dave Valentine now. This is Ray White, and I've moved to Afternoons on CD 101.9. So join me for a smooth ride home. We'll have news, traffic and transit, weather, financial updates, interviews, and, of course, smooth jazz. Weekday afternoons from 3 to 8 on CD 101.9, the smoothest place on earth. Point nine, the smoothest place on earth, the look of love. Anita Baker, do you recognize the look of love when you're getting it? Um, I hope so. <laughs> there is a look. There's this look. There is. When somebody looks at you, yes, there's that, a look. That sort of hooded eye look. It just didn't, you know, and you, you should be able to recognize it. Really you have to should. pay close attention, though. I haven't seen that look in quite some time, yeah, I but I look forward. I look forward to seeing it one of these days. When I go home with my first paycheck after becoming an employed person again, You'll maybe I'll get, get that then. look of love. Mm -hmm. But it's been a while. It's 8.15 now. It's 23 degrees. Hey, I want to congratulate Sean Jones of the Green Bay Packers. He's a defensive end. He uh, went to high school in Montclair, New Jersey, so he's a local guy. And All our right. Congratulations and best wishes to Sean Jones and 
his family. Let's check in with Russ Meyer at 8.15. All righty. Thank you, Jim. We're going to head over to New Jersey where we got a few things working this morning. First up, Parkway North is uh, crawling for about eight miles out of the Union Tolls to just south of the Essex Tolls with an accident on the shoulder. And also, we've got big delays on southbound 287 heading through the uh, Bernard's Township Basking Ridge area from an early two-car accident, which is knocking out a couple of lanes. In Newark, McCarter Highway, Route 21 remains subject to closure both ways through Broad Street, the side of a jackknife tractor trailer in the roadway. It's about 30 minutes apiece across the Hudson River and still at about 40 minutes at the Queensbound side of the Throgs Neck Bridge from an earlier two-tractor trailer accident still being cleaned up. Head for the Whitestone Bridge. That's at about 20 or go for the Triborough Bridge if you'd like. New York City with alternate side rules in effect. Heading out to uh, Suffolk County, we've got some big problems. Eastbound Southern State closed with a multi-vehicle accident a little east of 110. Troopers and ambulance crews are on the scene. A flipped over car in the left lane. Traffic is crawling around on the off-ramp and some westbound rubbernecking to contend with as well. I'm Russ Meyer on CD 101.9. Thank you, Russ. Here's the weather forecast from CD 101.9. Morning sunshine, some clouds in the afternoon, maybe some light snow possible, 30 degrees the high. Snow tonight changing to sleet and rain with temperatures rising through the 30s. Now, when we say the word snow, we're not talking about any sort of serious accumulation. Just want to make that clear. Tomorrow the rain will end in the morning. 40 degrees the high, 23 degrees right now at CD 101.9. What did you think of the uh, Super Bowl halftime show? Super Bowl halftime show is just too busy for me. I get a headache watching and those those aerial shots give me vertigo. Oh, from the from the Budweiser blimp, whatever. <laughs> notice how notice how we we call them by their brand names these days. Right. <laughs> I have never ever understood the appeal of the Blues Brothers. I'm sorry, I just haven't. Right back from the very beginning with Dan Aykroyd and uh, John Belushi when it was a Saturday Night Live skit. I, I just didn't get it. I still don't get it. I still don't understand why everybody thinks it's so cool. I Maybe mean, it's the sunglasses. I don't know. It just, it's, it's, it's a spoof. I mean, it has nothing to do with the Blues. You well, know, what did you think about James Brown's you know, outfit? James, well, James Brown has been known to wear some pretty strange clothes. But I think the nice suits that he wore, the shark skin suits that he wore in about 1965, 66, probably suited him better. And the alligator than shoes. What he was wearing, than what he was wearing last night. He had a tough job trying to teach Jim Belushi how to dance. That was... <laughs> <laughs> the commercials, though. I'm not sure that I can handle Fred Astaire dancing with a dirt devil. I... I appreciate the technology, mm -hmm. but it just gives me the creeps. And just like the Jackie Gleason commercial does where he's advertising a product now, and Jack Webb mm -hmm. for the, that computer company, and Marilyn Monroe for Chanel. You had to enjoy the pigeon droppings, though. I loved night. that. Nissan's people are <laughs> geniuses. The, uh, the, <laughs> the squadron of flying pigeon bombers trying to get the car that had just left the car wash. Yeah, was that was... Ingenious. David Hinckley reviewed the commercials in the news today. Uh, he, he calls the Cadillac commercial that stars Cindy Crawford mm -hmm. one of those horrible life lessons mm -hmm. for us young guys. A really rough lesson because you learn that Cindy Crawford leaves with the guy in the nicest car even if he's an animated duck. <laughs> and uh, the Visa commercial with Bob Dole. I loved what he had to say about it. Uh, this is a quote from David Hinckley. If he'd hired these people to run his presidential campaign, we'd be seeing opening arguments on court TV this week in the Paula Jones suit. <laughs> I thought it was good. City 101.9 time is 819. It's 23 degrees in Central Park. At Snapple, we've heard from many people who love our diet Snapple flavors, but often have a hard time finding them. To make things easier, we've put together these helpful diet Snapple shopping hints, as suggested by Chicago deli manager, Tony. Tony? All right, number one, call your local store in advance. I'm sure their number's in the book. Ask them if they've got your favorite diet snap on stock. If they do, don't trust that it will still be there when you get to the store. Ask them to put the bottle on reserve for you. A thoughtful store clerk will be happy to put a little yellow sticky with your name on the bottle to hold it up till you arrive. Thanks for the suggestion, Tony. We've all got to do our part to bring the great taste of Diet Snapple to as many people as possible. Working together, we can make the best stuff on Earth a little easier to enjoy. Diet Snapple's making the best stuff on Earth easier to enjoy. With six delicious flavors, including new Diet Cranberry Raspberry, there's no better time to pick up and enjoy a Diet Snapple than today. Diet Snapple, making the best stuff on Earth easier to enjoy. Hello. 
Yeah, hi. I just wanted to make a reservation, see, because I heard about the new 9 to 5 plan from you guys at Sheridan, where uh, members of your frequent guest program can check in as early as 9 a.m. and check out as late as 5 p.m. on the day you leave. Sir. Which I think is really great, because you've got the freedom to stick around all day. Sir, this is a zoo. Zoo? Yeah, you're telling me it's a zoo, right? Yeah, you should see my office. Crazy bunch of animals here. Anyway, this Sheridan 9 to 5 plan is like the hotel is adapting to my schedule, which is rare. I, I, I think you guys really got something there. Sir. Yeah. This is the zoo, the Buckland County Zoo. Oh. So you don't have any rooms? No, we don't. No, just a lot of cages? Uh-huh. Hmm. Cages. So you want to have another Sheridan phone number, do you? 8003253535. To request the 95 plan or enroll for free ITT Sheridan Club International membership, call 800-325-3535 or your travel planner. 9 to 5 is available to all SCI members paying eligible corporate rates of participating properties, not valid with group or discounted rates. 821, some celebrity birthdays this morning. Yes, actor, singer <clears throat> Bobby Blue Bland is 67. Now, he's a real blues brother. Yes. Definitely. Bridget Fonda is 33 today. Mimi Rogers is 41. And Troy Donahue, remember him? Mm-hmm. 61 years old. 61 years old today. I bet that's a lie. I bet he's really older. I wonder if he's still a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want the real Blues Brothers, all you have to do is find uh, anything on the Delmark label out of Chicago. That's where you'll find the real Blues Brothers. Definitely. 20, 22 minutes after 8 at CD 101.9. Here's Dave Sanborn with Smooth Jazz. It is 23 degrees in Central Park. Smooth Jazz, CD 101.9, Dave Sanborn, All I Need Is You. It is 824 and 23 degrees heading for the 30s today. And we have a CD 101.9 listener on the line. Hi, who's this? Hey, how you guys doing? You're sounding real good. This is Dwight from Jersey City. Hi, Dwight. You have a question? Yeah. Um, looking at the Super Bowl yesterday, I just couldn't figure out why we kept seeing shots from a blimp of the, of the Dome Stadium. I mean... The game was indoors. I mean, you couldn't see the players. You couldn't see the crowd. I mean, we just kept seeing this, this blimp shots. I mean, what was the purpose of that? To advertise Budweiser, no doubt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but that's okay. true. It is weird. You take a blimp. Check out an architectural wonder. You take a blimp all the way there, and it's an indoor stadium. Well, we did see some nice shots of the New Orleans skyline. Yeah, well, if they had the frogs parachuting from the blimp, then maybe I would have talked to you. Know? <laughs> well, we saw Poydras Street and everything. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> this is CD 101.9. Taking a look at our traffic and transit situation, the Queensbound Throgs Neck Bridge still has 30-minute delays because of an accident at the toll plaza. Now, three of those toll lanes are blocked. The Bronxbound side, not too bad, but expect some rubbernecking approaching the tolls. Uh, in Morris County, southbound Route 287 stop and go for up to six miles now approaching North Maple Avenue. That's because of a two-car collision leaving only the left lane open. And, of course, alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect today citywide. Here's BB and CC Winans on CD 101.9. It's 826. CD 101.9, the smoothest place on earth with your smooth ride home in Ray White at 3 this afternoon right here on CD 101.9. Tickets to see Kenny G and Tony Braxton. Tickets not only to see but to hear those great artists at Radio City Music Hall January 29th. And to see very well because you'll be in their faces. Front row. It's coming up before this hour is over right here at CD 101.9. Let's check with Russ. All righty, first up, we've got some trouble in New Jersey. Southbound 287 uh, pockets of residual volume for about, oh, six miles worth into North Mabel Avenue in Burnett's Township. All lanes reopened following an earlier accident. In Totowa, Union Boulevard is subject to closure at Willard Avenue following a serious head-on collision. A car and a truck involved there. Police have set up a local detour around it. In Newark, McCarter Highway, Route 21, blocked off both ways at Broad Street. They're set up a jackknife tractor trailer. And the northbound Garden State Parkway having a real tough time between the Union and Essex tolls from an earlier accident just south of the Essex Tolls, which is now over on the shoulder. It's 35 in at the GW Bay and at about uh, 20 to 25 of the Holland, 30 at the Lincoln. 40 minutes, Queensbound Throgsnake Bridge from that accident, which occurred a few hours back, uh, following a couple of tractor trailers. If you want to go Whitestone, that's at about 20. Trowborough will save you some time as well. New York City with alternate side rules in effect. Citywide, Southern State and Suffolk, eastbound side. Now at the left of the center lanes closed. 
for the uh, cleanup of an earlier multi-vehicle accident a little east of Route 110. You're going to have a tough time getting through there westbound as well because of rubbernecking. All our mass transit looks good, and I'm Russ Meyer on CD 101.9. Really, Pat? You just want to do it by, you know, random telephone, like 29th caller thing when we do it? Yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. But, but what but about my idea that, yeah. that we want the 29th caller who will play the saxophone for us over the phone? I, I don't think so. No? There's just not enough people who have saxophones to Okay, so it's just going to be a random just call. Just a random call. Okay, okay when? About 15, 20 about, minutes? You know, when, so whenever we decide. We, I mean, Kenny G, Tony Braxton, we'll just do it soon. Okay, all right. They I, it, was just, it was just an idea, Pat. Just, it was just an idea. <laughs> CD 101.9, temperature 23 degrees, out of day around 30. It's time now for the CD 101.9, 8.30 news break. Snow is headed our way, not much, but enough, enough to mess up the afternoon rush. White stuff will start coming down sometime this afternoon. They are partying in Wisconsin to celebrate the Green Bay Packers' 35-21 to win over the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 31. Desmond Howard was named the Super Bowl MVP. Mayor Giuliani says he couldn't give city cops a bigger raise if he wanted to because he says the city may need the money for raises for other city employees. The mayor says he also wants to cut taxes. Federal officials in Washington state are investigating three men for possible links to the Olympic Park bombing in Atlanta. They're already charged with bombings and robberies in the Pacific Northwest. And jurors in the O.J. Simpson civil trial may get the case as early as tonight. The defense is set to continue closing arguments today. And finally, Slater Barron of Long Beach, California, never throws away the lint from her clothes dryer's filter. Instead, she collects it. She uses it to create three-dimensional sculptures and other fuzzy works of art, including a life-size portrait of John Wayne, which Slater has made from the lint from her clothes dryer, <laughs> from the filter. I'm reaching into my pocket right now to see if I have any. <laughs> I do. How does it get in there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have some right here, right? Right with my... Another one of the great mysteries of the world. Right in my chain. In sports, the Packers beat the Patriots 35-21 to last night, Super Bowl 31. Knicks over Miami, 95-89. to Yes, I was in the good seats last night. And on the ice, the Rangers host Chicago tonight. The Knicks, Nets, Islanders, and Devils are all off. <laughs> She's so excited. She thinks she was there last night. It was yesterday in the early afternoon. Well, whatever. She was sitting in those team seats. The yesterday. team yesterday. seats. Yesterday. It's 8.33 now. It's one thing to be cold. Quite another to be cold and hungry. And City Harvest is doing something about it. Delivering food to soup kitchens and food pantries. To help them out, call 877-HARVEST. This CD 101.9 news break is brought to you by Chase Manhattan Bank. It's 833 now, more smooth jazz and the weather next. How much is Melanie Moore's time worth? <laughs> okay. We can tell you what it's worth to her. Every day, she's expected to be at the office first thing in the morning. Every evening, she's expected to leave only after all her work is done. But Melanie Moore also has another responsibility. Three-year-old Scott Moore at Chase we know how much your time is worth to you. That's why we offer seven convenient ways to bank, from ATMs to telephone and PC banking, from direct deposit to banking by mail. Melanie banks on her home computer so she can keep one eye on her balance while the other's on Scott. And Chase doesn't just connect you to your money. You can speak to a representative 24 hours a day, 365 days a year by calling 1-800-CHASE-24. Another way you're worth more at Chase. So how much is Melanie's time worth? You decide. Chase. The right relationship is everything. The Chase Manhattan Bank. Member FDIC. That's it. Good. I was out golfing with some buddies. I hadn't seen these guys in years. There I was, teeing off at the first hole. When I hit so far into the woods, Smokey Bear couldn't find it. I really blew it. Just then, one of my buddies tossed me a new ball. Go on, take another shot. He says. That one didn't count. After that, I played my best game ever. Yes. There's nothing like getting a second chance. And now, New York State is giving you one chance for a second chance on your overdue taxes with tax amnesty. It lets you pay overdue taxes and interest to the state without the usual penalties, which saves you money today and legal problems down the road. Tax amnesty ends January 31st, and when it's gone, 
it's gone. After that, penalties go up and enforcement gets tougher than ever. To find out if you're eligible for tax amnesty, call toll-free 1-888-552-FILE. That's 1-888-552-FILE. Tax amnesty. Your one chance for a second chance. CD 101.5. Nine time is 8.35 already on this Monday morning, and here's the weather forecast. Some sunshine this morning, clouding up in the afternoon, some light snow possible, 30 degrees today's high. Snow tonight changing to sleet and rain. We're not talking about any kind of serious accumulation at all. Uh, temperatures will rise tonight through the 30s. Tomorrow the rain should end in the morning, 40 degrees the high, 23 degrees at CD 101.9. Thanks for jazzing up your morning. These are the Rippingtons with Let's Stay Together. Smooth jazz on CD 101.9.